Memphis senator could be facing expulsion after being convicted of federal wire fraud. Today, the Senate Ethics Committee sent a recommendation to the full Senate to remove Senator Katrina Robinson from her seat. News Channel 5's Kyle Horan was on the Hill for the meeting. Kyle, what happened? So Senator Robinson has been convicted of two counts of wire fraud, but when she was first indicted by federal investigators, she faced more than 20 charges. The Senate Ethics Committee met this morning. They were looking at whether or not the senator's actions reflected poorly on the Senate or were unethical. The committee, made up of four Republicans and one Democrat, voted to recommend she be expelled from the Senate. Here's the problem, according to both Senator Robinson and the Black Caucus, though. Robinson hasn't been sentenced for the crimes, and therefore the recommendation was premature. Robinson has another hearing in criminal court in March. Senator Robinson insists she's not being treated fairly. She says other lawmakers have been accused of unethical behavior, but they were never called before the Ethics Committee. She pointed to the example of Representative David Byrd, who was accused of having an inappropriate sexual relationship with some of the high school basketball players he used to coach. For me to sit in front of an ethics committee today is a total display of unfairness, of discrimination, because I was told today that we weren't talking about criminal conduct, we weren't talking about a case, we weren't talking about convictions, we were talking about behavior. And we have several senators that are sitting in that body with me who have unethical behavior that has not been addressed by this body and those that are sitting in the House who have unethical behavior that has not been addressed by their body. So we cannot be talking now the decision goes to the full Senate of whether or not she'll be expelled, but it's unclear when that vote will take place. Senator Robinson says she hopes that it happens after her next court hearing. Reporting in the newsroom, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5.